What is up guys? Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use PropStream to pull a list for wholesaling vacant land, right? So with PropStream, you can go and you can get all your data. So you can pull a list of two, three, four, five thousand 5,000 properties at one time. So then you can mass text them, max call them. You can mail to them. You can just call them yourself, but it's a very cheap website for a plan that gives you 50,000 records. It's $1.99 a month and they do have a free trial. If you use the code 7FF, you will get a either seven or 30 day free trial, depending on when you're watching this. I'm going to put it up on the screen. It is 7FF and then it's PropStream.com, right? So I'm going to go into how you actually pull that list now. Okay, so we just got PropStream open. We signed in. Um, there's two memberships. The one membership after your free trial, right, is going to be, I think, $99 a month, and that one's 25,000 list pulls. But the one with 50,000 list pulls, that I think, is 197 per month. You also get 50,000 phone numbers, right? So you would literally have unlimited leads if you just did one month with this, right? And you also do get that free trial, right? But we're just going to imagine here that a builder said they're going to buy in 33976, right? So you're going to type your zip code up here and we're going to pretend that the builder is paying 23 because that's what builders are paying right now. They're paying $23,000, right? So I searched the zip code up top right here and what it's going to give me is 16,585 properties, right? Now these 16,585 properties, these are all going to be houses, land, anything you name it, right? So we're going to want to filter it down. Right, so I'm gonna click on this button filters and I'm gonna scroll down here and I want it to be vacant land, right? I wanna scroll down, uh, unless there's a specific market, I never try to do over two acres, right? We wanna be doing little small infill lots. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. We want off market, right? We don't want these builders to be able to find it without us. You wanna keep going down. You wanna make sure that it is an individual or mixed name, right? So that means, Basically, if it's in a corporation, right, it could be a builder, right? DR Horton LLC, right? Like any of those corporations are usually builders and trust could be hard with title work. So individual and mixed, they're going to be way better to get phone numbers. It just means one person owns it, right? Next thing is you're going to want to mess with the max sale price, right? So I said that we can sell it for 23. So my max offer is going to be 20 so we can make three grand, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure they purchased it for less than 15,000 here, right? So they bought it for less than 15,000. If I get it for 15,000, which is less than they paid, then we're gonna go ahead and make 8,000 bucks, right? And the number of properties owned, I'm gonna put five or less, right? Cause someone that owns 50 properties, they're not gonna sell without a discount. And I think that could be it, right? I'm just gonna scroll down and double check. Cool, right? That's all you have to do. So we took that list down from 16,000 properties down to 1,295 properties, right? So the next thing you're going to do is, and, and guys, another thing about PropStream, ignore the estimated value. These are completely off on PropStream. The rest of the data is great though. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on this button right here, right? This, this little check mark button at the top. It's going to select all the properties. You're going to go to actions. You're going to hit save. You're going to create a new list and you're going to go ahead and name it. Um, I usually do the date, right? So it says October 8th, 2025. And then I'm going to put a space and then 33976, 15K offers, right? So I'm going to save it as this. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to my properties right here. I'm going to wait for this to save really quickly. And here's something interesting too, as we wait for this to load here is you can set these filters, right? So I just did the, I do the same filters every time, right? Own for a certain number of years and purchase for a certain price and stuff like that. You can save it, right? So my JW light homes filters is going to be very similar to those that we just did, right? So you can go ahead and you can save your search by hitting this save button, right? So every time you go pull a list in a new zip code, it will do the same exact list that you always use, right? Um, so the next thing is when you go to, I'm not going to go click on this because I want to show you these people's phone numbers and stuff. You're going to click on my properties, click export, and it's going to export your list into a, um, just like a big spreadsheet. And it's going to have all the addresses, the first name of the people, the last name of the people. And you're going to have 1600 leads that you can now call. You can now mass text. You can basically do whatever you want with these leads, right? Uh, another way you can use this, right? If you're looking for buyers, something that you can do is you could go back, you can do the same exact thing and you can go, um, so what I'm going to scroll down to now is I want to make sure that they purchased it. So we're going to go 33976 and then I'm going to go again, vacant land. Scroll down, lot size 5,000 to 100,000 square feet. And you guys will see what I'm doing here in a second. Uh, all, so on market and off market properties. You want to keep scrolling down. You want to make sure that years of ownership, I'm going to do owned for a max of three years. So they purchased this property in the last three years. I want corporations in here and you guys will see why, 
I'm going to keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down. I'm going to delete the number of properties owned. I, they can own a million. I don't really care. And that's going to be it, right? So these 1,500 properties means that they were purchased in the last uh, three years, right? And I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to make sure it was purchased for more than 20000 because I want the buyers that are paying a lot of money, right? So $20,000. So we have 1,300 properties that were purchased for more than that, right? And as you see, like some of these are homes because a lot of them are home builders, right? Like they're going to be newly built homes. So if I click on this lot, tropical home builders, right? This is a buyer in Lehigh. And you can just scroll down and all of these lots where it's going to sort by homes first because a lot of these have newly built homes on them because a lot was just sold, right? But like this one, for an example, uh, was sold to this guy, right? Like this is going to be a buyer because he just purchased a property in the last three years for more than 20 K. So you have 1300 buyers. You can do the same thing with this list. You can save it, export it and start to call these leads, right? So prop streams are super easy platform to navigate. Uh, another big thing that they have on this website is when you click on it, you can go to, um, you can go to linked properties, right? So this person owns eight properties. So a lot of the times, right? Like if this person was going to sell to you, I know we're doing buyers right now, but if this person was going to sell to you, you could ask about their other seven properties, right? And they're all right here. And you can just click on these properties like that, right? So that's what I use PropStream for. Uh, it has all the stuff you would get on the county appraiser, right? When you click on it, like it's going to have the APN, it's going to have the legal description, the owner, the mailing address. It's going to say what the zoning is for the land. It's going to say that how big the lot is. It's going to show you everything, right? A couple things. Um, this will show you the last sale date of it, how it was sold and, uh, the wholesale price and the equity, just do not worry about it. It's completely wrong for land right now on PropStream with the valuation. Everything else is perfectly correct, right? So that's how you use PropStream. This is a tool that we've used for years. It's a tool I will continue to use for years. If anyone has any questions, go ahead and comment them and let me know what other videos you'd like to see. Again, do not forget to like, and subscribe. We will be doing quite a bit of these videos. And again, the code is 7FF30 or 7FF when you go to sign up on PropStream. There will be a link for PropStream and a link to join our direct community below if you'd like to book a call. Thanks and we'll see you guys in the next video.